Hi, welcome to jdravingschool.com. My name is Jai Shri Sumaya and my driving school's name is JSA-1 Driving School. I'm running this school since 1995. We will talk about lane change now. Please like my uh, videos, share it and subscribe them so it can help others. And uh, when you subscribe it, you will get a bell icon, press it. So whenever I put a new video on, you will get the notification. Thanks for watching my videos. In this episode today, we will see uh, that there are cars coming in the right lane and there are cars in the left lane. And you are sitting in this green car and uh, we want to turn right further up ahead so we will have to do a lane change so when you get an instruction that you're turning right further up you have to think that i'm in the left lane i will have to do lane change so quick glance in the rear vision mirror now i haven't shown much gap between all these cars because my paper is small but there will be a little bit more gap in between these cars when they are moving when they are stopped then it's a fine thing but they when they are moving so all these cars are moving in this direction now when i look in the mirror my rear vision mirror i can see lots of cars coming from behind me so and i have to change lane i haven't got any um uh, I mean any other uh, way to do the lane change so what i'll do i uh, i will turn my right indicator on and i'll start decreasing my speed because there is a car in front of me so when i want to uh, when i check in my right side external mirror my eyes will be off the road so um, I, if I, in case when i'm looking in my external mirror or my rear vision mirror my eyes will be off the road so in case if this car in front of me suddenly breaks then i may go and hit him so i will decrease my speed but this car doesn't want to change lane so he will keep on going so i will increase the gap between the car in front of me and my my car so when i'm looking in the mirror i'm far away from this car so in case if he stops when i look on the road i can see that car but when you are looking in your mirror and external mirrors you do not stare in it you just glance in it so what you are looking in your ex rear vision mirror and external mirror the gap between all these cars so we can see no not much gap there in between but when you turn your indicator on and you keep on going these cars are also going and then all these drivers can see your indicator now suppose these all drivers are in hurry so they keep on going you are also going he's also coming but the driver behind this green color car driver thinks that he wants to give you um why so he will start slowing down and the gap will start increasing between his car and the car in front so you can see that in your external mirror and rear vision mirror but you do not check your blind spot at that time now these cars are still going further ahead you are also going further ahead now as he comes near you at that time you still the gap is more than what it was before when that car was here so then you check your blind spot and your eyes will meet the me, uh, eyes of the this driver and you will confirm that he is giving you way then you will look in the front and watching this car and the car in front of you you have to turn your wheels and slowly get in this line because your uh, there is not much room in front of you because there these cars are still going so you have to go slowly at this time you cannot accelerate to drift across very slowly you turn your wheels and turn into that lane but as you're changing lane again you are checking your blind spot your rear rear vision mirror and your blind spot and the watch, watch the car in front of you so you're watching this car in rear vision mirror you will watch this car and when you look in the front you watch the front car and if this is a double center line you will make sure you won't go in the wrong side of the road or if this is an island you don't hit the island so this is how you do the lane change 
sometimes what happens, we'll see another situation. Now, sometimes the same situation, lots of cars coming from behind you and you have to do a lane change to right lane and you are, you are not going to get a safe gap. You can see all the cars are coming, coming and there is no safe gap in the right lane. So you will indicate earlier and start slowing down and, so, and you will start getting away from the car in front. But remember, you are still moving but you go at a slower speed and increase the gap between the car in front of you and your car and keep on looking rear vision mirror, external mirror and road. As you know, we have to glance only in the mirror, not stare in the mirror because we are still driving and these cars are still going. Now, green color car driver has been seeing uh, that you want to change lane. So he, he thinks, okay, he wants to give uh, some gap so you can change lane in front of him. So he will start slowing down, but these cars are going, they didn't want to give you way. And these cars are going, you are still going too. And you, uh, but he is such a good driver that he is giving you a lot of space to get in. So you know that he is giving you way. But you are, as I told you always, you always watch rear vision mirror, external right side mirror because you are going in the right lane and right blind spot and external mirror again, uh, sorry, uh, rear vision mirror again. So sometimes what happens, the car coming from behind you, he jumps in that big safe gap before you. So when you check the uh, mirror, mirror blind spot mirror again, you will see this car jumping in. So you have to be careful. So you have to watch the car coming from behind you that when you are changing lane, he doesn't jump in in that safe gap. So that's why you are checking your rear vision mirror after your blind spot and you are changing lane and watching your mirror and road, mirror and road, and you are turning your wheels to get in because there is not enough room in front of you and you are turning slowly because there are cars in front of you still in motion or they could have come to stop for some reason, then there will be a traffic, then you are slowly changing line in this way by turning your wheels. And if he is getting in and if you think you haven't got much room, then let him go and once he goes, then when you have room again check mirror external right side mirror and blind spot and change lane and make sure that he hasn't changed his mind and giving you why so you can change lane so this is these are the things you have to think of and see and do the lane change with care thank you for watching my videos